good morning children so i know that we all are stuck at home and uh, at home we don't have the luxuries of science labs like vast chemicals and uh, and a lot of apparatus but i know the scientist in you is craving for the experiments okay and so quench our thirst to quench our thirst of experiments what we can do is we can explore the science in our day everyday life okay because science is everywhere when you wash your hand with soap okay and uh, uh, when you put the ice cube in your drinks you have a lot of spices in the kitchen so everywhere you can find science so let's see some magical uh, tricks some magical science experiments and find out the principle behind that okay now here we go so the experiment is salt versus fresh ice melting in this we will take salt water and fresh water and we will find that in which type of water ice will melt faster and why so here you can see this man he has taken two glasses of water one is fresh water and other is salt water okay now he is putting some ice into this and we have to find the reason which one in which glass the ice will melt faster it will take about 5 minutes and we will find in fresh water the ice will melt faster as compared to the salty water let's see the reason now here you can see the color the food color is moved down till the bottom of the fresh water whereas it is stuck over here on the ice only and the reason behind it is density because of the density the salt water is having higher density so ice will take time to melt as compared to the fresh water now you can see this the color is stuck here only next is two candles experiment we will be going to do we will take two candles one is taller and other is small shorter okay uh when since childhood we have done this kind of experiment we used to take one candle and we we'll put a jar on it and then we used to wait okay how much time the candle will take to glow okay and uh, why this happened because the oxygen which is present in the jar it is finished because uh, it is being used for burning the candle and there is the accumulation of carbon dioxide in the jar and then the candle glows but now we have changed the experiment a bit we are taking two candle one is the taller and the other is shorter one let's see what is going to happen here so now we lit the candle and we are putting a big jar on it so now let's wait for a few seconds which candle will glow first yes now here we can guess the taller one has glowed first and why is it so now we are we can see here what is the reason behind it the shorter candle is burning and it has produced lot of carbon dioxide here we can say lot of carbon dioxide is being produced here and which will not favor the uh, fire okay so when the accumulation of carbon dioxide is taking place over here so the taller candle will blow first as why carbon dioxide is moving up because the heat is being produced and we know that when the heat is produced when the carbon dioxide is produced it always move in upward direction so here we are having lot of accumulation of carbon dioxide that's why our taller candle is blown has blown okay now we can see 
and then the remaining oxygen is being used by the shorter candle. That's all for today. You can do these experiments in your home and amaze your family members. Thank you very much.